When people book the Potato Hotel, I think it's a little confusing as to what they might expect when they arrive. It's a lot bigger than people expect. We get questions on our booking platform on if it's real. And then when you open it up and see how light and bright it is without any windows, I think that's really surprising. I'm Christy Wolf, the owner of the Big Idaho Potato Hotel in Boise, Idaho. It's a roughly around 200 square feet, and that has a queen-size bed, a little kitchenette area with a fridge and sink. The bathroom is actually about 50 feet away from the potato in a converted grain silo, and that has heated flooring, a big two-person tub with a bath salt bar, a separate shower, and then a toilet sink area. When this went viral, my favorite comment that I saw was the moral of the story is you might look like a potato on the outside, but you're beautiful on the inside. That <laughs> makes me so happy. The Idaho Potato Hotel used to be a six ton promotional potato that traveled around the country on the back of a flatbed semi truck. The big out of potato truck came out of some creative thinking in our attempt to celebrate our 75th anniversary. One day she said to me, Frank, if you ever get rid of this potato, I'd love to turn it into a potato hotel. After eight years, it was time to get a new one, and they gifted me the old one to turn into a potato hotel. When I thought about designing the inside of the potato, it was just raw, I could do anything I wanted. When you arrive with your loved one, there's a lot of things to help you connect with each other. There's local goodies, local coffee and tea. So it's really just a place where you can hang out with each other. One of people's favorite things about staying at the Potato Hotel is our cow, Dolly, who lives on the premises. She's super friendly. She's going to be waiting for you every time you exit a door. Even though you're staying in a potato, you're going to have a lot of the same amenities as a five-star hotel. When people arrive, I think they're expecting the bathroom that's in a grain silo to not have the amenities, but it really is kind of spa-like. We have ropes and slippers and a bath bar. Our local economy depends on Idaho potatoes. Agriculture is our main business here. We harvest approximately 45 million pounds of potatoes every year. We have three potato cellar facilities. Each of those facilities has two bays. Each of those bays holds roughly 7.3 million pounds of potatoes. Average potato weighs eight ounces, so the number of potatoes would be about 14 million potatoes. A lot of people might not expect it, but Boise has a really vibrant farm-to-table food culture. Working with farmers in order to run a restaurant is important to us. Some of those relationships have been fostered and, and maintained over you know, decades. Creating dishes inspired by the Idaho potato I think it's just inherent in us. Um, it just kind of comes with the territory, I think. It's nice to see people coming in from other states and cities and appreciating what we do. It wasn't always this big. It used to be much smaller. Boise's changing, as we all know. Boise's growing. But Boise still has a wholesome, honest, small town feel and that's what's what's attractive to a lot of people around here. You can really see that Boise community support shine through keeping these events like the Idaho Potato Drop going. When you look at the Big Idaho Potato Tour, Frank started that 10 years ago, still going. Bolin Guitars, John bolin has been going for 40 years now. Christy Wolf started the Potato Hotel, the community's embracing it. It's so rewarding seeing people come from all over the world and making it a point to get off the freeway and drive down here and snap a few pictures of the Potato Hotel. 
A stay at the Potato Hotel is pretty much the most stereotypical thing you can do when you're in Idaho, but I think staying in a unique place versus your typical hotel can really elevate your experience of an area. So you're gonna get away from where the tourists are, you're gonna get something totally unexpected, and oftentimes that's gonna be the thing that you're gonna remember the longest. So my hope is that you will stay in the potato but get to experience all of what Idaho has to offer.